Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to publish your font on the font 2023. Of course, the font is one of the most popular platforms for sharing and distributing fonts. So if you created a unique and stylish font and want to make it available to a wider audience, the font is a great place to showcase your work. So let's dive right into the, uh, the steps of how to publish your the font or font on the font in 2023. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use Brave and of course in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Then of course, the first step is to gather all the necessary files of your font or for your font that you will need uh, or that the font will need and you will need the font file itself in like true type, which is .ctf, or open type, which is .otf format. Uh, additionally, it's a good idea to create a preview image or sample text document to showcase your font's design. And of course, if you don't have an account on the font, you'll have to go into this URL section. Simply go to the thefont.com and hit the enter button, which will take you to the home screen or main screen of the font website. So if you have an account, you can simply go and click on login into your account and simply enter your username and password and login into your account. But if you don't have an account, you can simply click on create a new account or register. And of course, from here, as you can see, registration is free. You don't need to register if you want to... Uh, or if you want, just want to download the font, but if you want to upload, you'll have to go and register into your account or simply log in into it. For me, I'm just going to choose like a uh, username test, or I'm just going to use like username that I'll remember. And the email, I'm just going to use this and click on register. And as you can see, your password has been sent to your email address provider. So simply I'll have to go and get my password and I'm coming back. So simply now, I'll, I'll simply check this remember me. So I'll not have to log into my account over and over. And as you can see, here we are. That's going to be my account. If I click my profile, my photo, we can change password. I can do a lot of other stuff. So let's just get back to the home screen. Once you're logged in into my account or just register into a new account, as you can see here, if you go to the home screen, you'll be able to find a lot of fonts that you'll be able to download from here. And you'll be able even to download to author if he enabled this feature. But for us, we don't want to download any fonts on this video. We would like to upload our fonts. So simply if we click on this new font as an example, it will just simply get us a new font. But we don't want this. We would like for us to click on submit fonts. Once you click on it, as you can see, you'll have to simply answer some simple questions. So the fusion on this site is not automatic. It is a selection. Each font is submitted to review and fonts must include at least an A to Z character set. Of course, caps and without caps. So of course, fonts available for a limited time are not accepted. Fonts are not supposed to be removed once online. Are you the author of the font? Yes, I created it myself. Oh no, I found it somewhere. So yes, I created it myself. So by submitting this form, you certify that you are the author of the font. That is that it is not someone else design and that is not you have the publishing right on, on it. And of course you allow the font.com to per propose it for download and you are aware that once online every visitor can freely download it but the font does not control the issue people uh, with the font and the font.com declines any responsibilities in case of non-respect by the user is of the term mentions in the text file of course if you click on yes i created myself you'll have to fill your first name last name and choose the file that i told you before which is going to be dot ttf or even zip file and even the otf uh, will be accepted so don't worry about this and of course the recommended theme you can choose one of those license you can choose one of those as you can see 100 percent free free for personal use shareware demo public domain or donation where and of course note of the author you can go and add some description if you want to and the illustration is always be good for other people so as you can see they will have other people they will have a review like this image here so it's pretty kind of important. So as you can see, it's very optional and max width will be just 800 pixels. So as you can see, if possible in PNG, YPNG, as you can see, you will be able even to read it here. So um, of course the GPG will not be good. And of course GPG will be rejected as you can see in GPG's 
converted in PNG will be rejected as well. You must export to PNG. The original and damage file uh, will not be accepted as well. So simply you'll have to go and upload the image here. Then simply click on submit and you will have to go and wait for the review. But of course, if you are not the owner, if you found it just somewhere, as you can see, first verify that the font doesn't exist. So simply you'll have to go and enter the, uh, the, the name of the font. Once you click on it, or once you type it here, click on search. If it's already here, you will not have to download it or to upload it or to submit it. But if it's not, as you can see, you will have to go and fill those information. So as you can see, all the fields are optional except the field or the fill field. Please be sure to keep the readme text file in the zip. So as you can see, how did you get this font? So you can answer this question. And font author, you can simply have here enter the name of the author, the email of the author, the site of the author, and simply enter the file on .ttf or zip and of course you'll simply have to submit it once you're done that of course you'll have to go and submit or once you provided all the necessary informations and uploaded your font files and preview the image and review even everything carefully double check the accuracy of the details and ensure that your font is ready for submission finally once you click on submit of course or publish the button you may find publish example you will have to go and wait for approval. So after submitting your font, it will go through a review process by the font team. And of course, this process may take some time. So be patient and wait for their approval. Their approval, of course. So if there is any uh, like uh, issues or concerns with your font, you may receive feedback or instructions on how to resolve them on your email. And of course, once you're done with everything, congratulations. Once your font is approved and published on the font, it's time to share it and promote it. So, of course, make sure to spread the word through your social media channels, uh, design communities, and your own website or portfolio. Encourage others to download and use your fonts and consider offering commercial and or personal use. And of course, the more exposure your fonts get, the greater the chances of it to becoming popular and widely used. And of course, you can always come back here on to the font uh, home screen and see as an example if your font is being downloaded by a lot of people. So as you can see, you'll be able to see how much people like downloaded your font. As you can see, you'll find here the total and here the amount of yesterday. You'll be able to add, even add to comments or see the comments of other people or even you'll be able to add it to a group. So if you reach the bones of this video, congratulations. That's it. You've learned how to publish your own font on the font in 2023. Of course, by following these steps and providing all the necessary information in the file, you can showcase your font on a vast audience of designers and of course, font authors. So go ahead, unleash your creativity and share your unique font with the world. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for our channels for more tutorials like this one. So thank you for watching and best luck with your font publishing journey on the font and I'll see you in the next video.